Hello, Holly. You seem a little down in the dumps. Is there something wrong? Hi, Philip. No, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. At least, mostly fine. How are you today? I'm alright, you know. Just wanted to watch your preparations for next month's Relive the 50s event is all. Reliving the 50s? You mean Charlie's coming back? Indeed I do. But we tried to get a hold of Apania and the Class 37, but to no avail. Haven't got a clue where they are. We also managed to uncover an extremely rusty looking Black 5 locator which we believe used to work here many years ago. So I've asked Stephanie to pick it up and move it to the siding. Very nice. I'm happy to hear that Charlie's coming back though. Well, he is one of the main characters in this production, so we have to bring him back somehow. Oh, and I almost forgot. You're due for a mainline certificate renewal next week. Oh, right. Is that really expiring next week? I thought I had at least another month or two left. Well, it is expiring next month actually, but Stephen's fully booked for pretty much the entirety of next month. And I didn't want you to miss this special event next month, so I booked Stephen to renew your certificate next week instead. Oh well, better too early than to be late, right? Well, the board of directors wouldn't really allow it to be late, so next week it is. Okay, what about Patrick though? Isn't he due for a certificate renewal? There's plenty of time to sort Patrick out. He's not due for a renewal until the end of next year. Though I do have doubts that he'll actually pass his next inspection. Anyway, not something to worry about right now. I'm going to meet Stephanie so we can get this rut's bucket sorted out. I'll see you around, Holly. Okay, bye, Philip. Wow, I wonder what Philip meant about Patrick not possibly passing his inspection. Probably nothing to worry about. He as fit as an engine as anyone on the Riviera. I'm sure he'll get his certificate renewed. Hey, Patrick. Why are you looking so down on the dumps? These stupid delays. Why are there so many accidents happening when I'm driving along the line? I bet you anything, Holly doesn't get any of these accidents. But what if this accident involves Holly? Oh dear, no. Please don't let it be Holly. Exactly my point. You complain that Holly can just go straight through all the time. But God forbid if Holly's involved in an accident, it's the end of the bloody world for you. Look, driver, Holly's a really good friend of mine. Why would I want anything to happen to her? I hope she's okay. I'm just a bit mad that these accidents always happen when I'm on the line. Well, I suppose it's all just down to luck. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have a quick word with the signalman, and I'll let you know as soon as we can leave. Alright, see you later. <sighs> luck. What does he know about luck anyways? Be in your bonnet, Patrick. Oh, hi Larry. I've got a whole nest in my bonnet, I think. Always having the same issue of an accident on the main line. Well, you're in luck, because that's what I'm here to sort out. Always the same flippin' train that seems to get in a spot of bother to. Whoever passes his inspections need to have several screws drilled into his brain. Oh dear, I wouldn't want to be in that situation. Anyway, why are you stopped here? Couldn't you just carry on? Lights red. Can't go anywhere. My driver's gonna ask if I can pass a signal at danger. Should be okay though, since I'm here to tow the breakdown away from their painting. Well, that's McHugh. Got a dash. See you later, Patrick. See ya, Larry.
Hey, Halls. Oh, hi, Stephanie. I didn't see you there. Well, that's me in a nutshell. Always invisible to the large engines. Doesn't help that I'm small. Don't feel bad about it, Stephanie. You may be a small engine, but do you really think I can do the work you do on this Riviera? Well, considering you don't have a coupling system on the front, I think you'd find shunting to be quite a difficult task. Exactly. Anyways, what are you doing here today? Oh, uh, just shunting this worthless piece of junk into a siding somewhere around here. Philip says it's important to captivate how life was 60 years ago. Or something like that. Hey, isn't that a Black Five? Peter? Peter? You know this rust bucket's name? Well, yes. Charlie told me. They were best friends in the 50s. Charlie and Peter. Charlie? You mean the castle class local that was here yesterday? The Charlie? That's Charlie, alright. Um, right. <laughs> right, Stephanie. I want you to shunt this black five carefully into the far siding over there. Um, what? S sorry. Um, okay, Philip. I I'll do that now. Talk to you later, Holly. Afternoon, Holly. Oh, hi, Vanessa. Haven't seen you in a while. Been keeping up all right? Not been too bad. On my way to Plymouth right now. Just got to pick up some passengers and wait for Patrick's passengers to arrive as well. Don't hold your breath about it, Vanessa. There's been another accident just around Torquay. Patrick's driver called my driver about it earlier. Well, no surprise there. Patrick's running late. Again. And his passengers will be left on the platform in anger. Again. Well, I can't wait along for much longer. Not my problem if I don't have passengers to pick up. Hey, you really can't blame Patrick for this. It's not his fault some engines keep breaking down. And it's not my problem if he's running late either. I just run to my own schedule. Don't need to worry about anyone else. Well, whatever. Anyways, are you looking forward to relieving the 50s event next month? Charlie's coming back. Having that castle on the line yesterday caused me nothing but stress. I was so late arriving at Plymouth, all my passengers demanded refunds. Waste of time and money, if you ask me. Spoil sport. Well, Patrick still hasn't arrived and I'm not going to be late again. Might catch you later. Bye, Vanessa. Right, Patrick. Line's cleared for you now. Thank you, Larry. Just need to wait for my driver. Who is this engine, anyway? No idea. But whoever he is, he keeps breaking down, and I'm the one to clear it up. Rotten pile of garbage only belongs in a scrap heap, if you ask me. 150232. Always the same -in. Well, there we go. Maybe your dream will come true one day. I hope so. Anyway, I need to catch up with this train to Peyton. I'll catch up with you then. I need to make my way to Newton Abbott anyway. I shall see you around. I hope Hall is also waiting at Newton Abbott. That HST? What do you want with an HST? Hey, Holly is a nice HST. Of course there are a few bad apples around, but Holly isn't like the others. <laughs> Never heard such dosh in my life. Don't put yourself up to her, kid. There's plenty of fish in the sea for you to make your move. Don't bother going for rotten salmon. Take that advice from me. I'll definitely keep an open mind. Anyway, I'll see you around. Take care, lad.
What on earth was he talking about? He probably doesn't even know Holly. Not like I do anyway. Right, Patrick. The line's cleared for us to go to Torina. We've already had a very long delay, so let's make every mile count. Okay, off we go. Finally, back at Falmouth. Welcome back, Charlie. Welcome back, Charlie. Ah, it's good to be back. I also need to rest because it's been a long day. It is great to have you back. Today's been a really busy day without you. Before you go, there's something I should tell you. Pauline has been revamping the sheds throughout the day. She started getting a new shed space built. I wonder what's going on. Hmm, nice news to hear. Not sure why a new shed space is required, though. Probably not anything we need to worry about for now anyway. Probably not. Anyway, it's getting late. I will see you two in the morning. Good night. Good night. So, Charlie, how was your time on the Bravira again after 60 years? You know, not much has changed since we were last there. Only big difference is the trains that run the line now. Mostly diesel units nowadays. Oh, cool. Hope they aren't as bad as those rotten foul mouths that first came to the line in the 50s. Oh, no. The two that I met were very nice diesel units, an HST and a Pacer. I think I caught a quick glimpse of a Class 03 shunter, though, as I was leaving Newton Abbott, and it looked very similar to one of the nasty diesels that came to the line, but I just let it pass since I needed to get to painting on time. Oh, right. I remember which diesel you're talking about. I can't remember her name, but I think it started with an S. Of course, unless I see her again, I wouldn't be able to know. Maybe you can see her again sometime. I suppose so. By the way... On the topic of that, I was wondering if I could come with you to the Revere next time you go. It'll be nice to see what's happened to the line since we ran on it. Yes, that would be quite nice. I'll ask Pauline about it. Hopefully, you can go so we can run a service train just as we used to. Double-headed, right? Oh, you still remember that. <laughs> Those were the days. Oh, they were. In fact, I've been retelling the story of the 50s to the two diesel units I met on the Riviera brings back some bad memories. But it's nice to look back on the events after such a long time. Ah, have you reached the part where I joined yet? No, not quite there yet. You've been mentioned, though. Anyway, <sighs> I need to sleep. We gotta get up early tomorrow, though, for another hard day's work. Just as Brian used to say. Anyway, good night, Charlie.
Hey, Pat. What you up to? Oh, hi, Stacy. Uh, just the usual passenger run. What about you? Oh, just the same as you. Regular passenger run. You haven't seen my brother, have you? Well, yes, actually I did. He broke down just outside Turkey again. Larry had to tow him to paint him. God damn it, Steven. Always breaking down he is. Larry also keeps saying that too. Except he's actually really annoyed by it. Wouldn't surprise me. Steve's been like that since I've known him. But he's your brother. You know what? Forget it. Anyway, I'll see you later, Patrick. Bye, Stacy. Hey driver, you know Holly's driver, right? Well, I mean, she is my wife, so if I didn't know her, I'd be very concerned. Oh yes, right, I forgot that. Anyway, just wanted to know, does Holly ever speak about anything to her driver? Well, they do have conversations together, just as we do. I mean, it is kind of what you would do on a railway talking train, right? Possibly, yes. But uh, anyway, uh, what I really want to ask is, uh, does she ever talk to her driver about me? Hmm, well, now that I think of it, she does say that Holly has mentioned you on a few occasions. Why do you ask? Uh, nothing really. I was just curious more than anything. Fair enough. Bit of an odd question, but there we go. You can talk to Holly at Newton Abbott if you want. We should arrive just before she's due to depart. Woo! Yay! Let's go then. So, Charlie, how was your time on the Riviera? Oh, it was fantastic, just as it was 60 years ago. Well, that was one of the reasons why I chose for you to go. It was between you and Rosie anyway, since you both know the line from its heyday. Well, thank you for the opportunity. You are very welcome, my dear. Anyway, the Riviera called again to say there's another event happening in a month's time to relive the 50s Riviera. What I want to know is, if you'd like to go again. I'd love to, but this time, I was wondering if Rosie could go with me. That way, we can relive how the Riviera was properly run, since we used to run double-headed services. Now that is an idea. I'll think about it and see what I can do. I know we're getting a replacement train from Somerset to run services for next month, as there's another event happening on the West Somerset Railway to relive its heyday. I'll see if I can book for an extra train to come here too, so that we don't have any delays. Okay, Pauline. Thanks for that. Not a problem at all, Charlie. As soon as I have more information, I'll let you know. Thanks, Pauline. I hope you'll bring good news. Indeed. Anyway, off you go. Don't want to be late, do you? Of course not.
Right, got to do it this time. Deep breaths. Get myself in tune. Hi, Holly. Hello there, Patrick. You're a little bit late. Yes, another stupid accident happened on the main line whilst I was at Turkey. Larry had to take care of it again, but he didn't seem happy. Won't be a surprise. Larry's never happy. Ah, uh, tell me about it. Anyway, I want to tell you something before you rush off again. Tell me something? What might that be? Um, well... Ugh! God damn it, Philip! I've moved this bloody engine like 50 times already! We'll be here until Christmas if you keep telling me to move it anymore. Look, Stephanie, I'm trying to make this engine look perfect, and to do that it needs to be positioned in a good spot. <laughs> Unless you haven't noticed, we're in a siding. The only places you have are between that junction and the buffers. I swear to God, we've been to every spot possible on this siding at least twice. Jeez, calm down, Stephanie. Hey, uh, what's going on over there? They're moving the Rusty Black 5 to the sightings ready for next month's event on the Riviera. Hey, Charlie mentioned something to do with that. Yeah, the Rusty Black 5 is the old Peter. Oh, now that makes sense. Yeah, but Stephanie's been swearing like a soldier with Philip trying to get the engine to the sighting. I can't imagine. Hey Patrick, how are you doing today? Well, I'm alright. How are you keeping? Oh, that Stephanie's a right piece of work. Should have sold her off when I came here, if I'm completely honest. Why is she even here? She was apparently one of the first diesels to ever be sent here when British Railways took over. Apparently she hasn't changed much since then either. Wow, interesting. More like big mistake. She's been a right pain since I got control of this railway. Of course, the only way I got this railway was because I was a relative of the really old owner before the BR transfer. Brian, I believe his name was. Interesting. You two are creeping me out a little with this interesting business. I've got a cigarette to light. Take care of you two. Take care, Philip. Bye, Philip. Right, Patrick, what was it you wanted to tell me? Quickly, though, since I have to leave in a few minutes. Uh, right, um, uh, what I want to tell you is that I have, uh... Wait, stop. I think I know where this is going. Wait, you do? Yep, you want to confess to me about your feelings. How did you figure that out? Charlie's story and Peter used the same words as you used. Uh, well, yes, that's what I want to tell you. So, do you feel the same way? <sighs> yes, Patrick, I do feel the same way. I've been wanting to tell you, but I really haven't had the time to. Oh, well, I'm happy you feel the same way then. Same. Thanks for telling me. Anyways, I need to go now. Or I'll be late to Exeter. We'll talk about this in the sheds later, okay? Okay. See you later, Holly. See you, Patrick. I think I'll walk the other way.